team, what we're going to talk about next is the home profile feature to the Milos program. If you go over here to the left, click on the home profile tab. That's going to bring up the overall uh, summary for the selected home profile at the time. You'll see these are the rooms that I have, a uh, brief overview of them, the products associated in those, the photos, the documents, so on and so forth. I'll explain what each one of those means and how to get there and how to add here very shortly. Uh, but the main thing about this page, before we go into depth about each one of these programs here, is if you remember from the previous tutorial we had related to purchases, we added one purchase from a previous uh, scan of the Milo's card at a store. So if you go here and you want to add that to one of your selected rooms, you'll hit View or Assign Products here. You'll see was that outdoor candle lantern that we wanted to add. So what you'll need to do from this screen here, you can either view product in depth. That will bring up specific items. Like I told you before, as you see, this is a page right off of Lowe's.com, and you see at any product you have, you're going to see those two those two boxes there, which is save item or set reminder. That's how this got added to this screen and into the home profiles. We saved the item and we saved it into the home profile to be added to whatever room we like. If we go back, what we need to do from this point here is add the spaces. So we'll go down here to add spaces. You can put a note in there if you like. But down here, here is the uh, associated rooms within uh, the home profile that I've designed. Where I do want to add that to is the living room. Hit that there and you'll hit save. Now what that has done is put it in the living room and it will, it will give you a confirmation that's been done up there. And also too, you'll see now uh, it's shown up in the living room. And two, at a later date, if you move that to a different part of the house, you can add it to spaces change where that's located in so it's really cool you can do a lot of things with that the other uh, important thing from that main uh, page if we go back there for a second let me explain these three boxes here and then it will break down into the depth of, of each individual room and how these relate first off you do want to add a new space uh, there's already preset names here you can also change them at any time and I'll show you how to do that let's say we want to add a deck from this point here, how this screen is shown up is you can go into, de uh, into detail of any one of these by just clicking on the name and there's that screen. So let's go back to our deck here for a second. And one option we have as well is to rename that right off the bat. So if you click on that name just for a show, we'll just say deck one, just so you can see it's been changed, so you can change it at any time. But if you see, so that's how you add a new space there. The next box that will say show. This is going to be important because this will break down each individual space you have within your home profile. Um, from here we can see all products that are associated within the home profile that I've added from um, scan purchases through my lows at the store. Go back out here. You can look at all the photos that I have uploaded about the house there. and all documents pertaining to uh, any relevant item to this home profile which I believe that's a, a manual to a dryer so off the main screen there that's pretty much all the features you'll see of the home profile so now let's talk about individual spaces within the summary so if we pick any space fit the laundry room there the first screen that's going to show up here is the product screen which is uh, relevant to the show box there this is going to show all products that have been scanned with the Milo's card and that we have now added into the individual space within this home profile summary here. Another cool thing, if we go down here, is photos. This is going to show any photo that you have uploaded onto your home profile screen. In order to do this, you just need to go to click Upload it's going to ask you where within your computer do you want to do this from so you can have removable disk, you can have a phone you can have pictures that you've added to the computer so I'm going to look I know that I put this picture on the desktop there it is there so you click there press open and now it's going to upload that picture 
onto your Milo's profile. And it's going to go right into this room right here. We'll close that screen out. And as you see, it's a duplicate picture, but you can see right there, very simply to add a picture there, and that's all you have to do to, to do it. If I want to get rid of this now, I just roll over here to the trash can, click there, picture's gone. Next thing, let's look at documents. Documents is really cool because you can keep manuals, other paper information that you have um, onto your Milo's home profile summary uh, for quick access, quick reference. Uh, it's always going to be there for you. Here's one that I've already added. Uh, it's the, the manual to the dryer. But let me go ahead and show you as well how to add one. If we go here to upload, you'll click upload. It's going to ask you where, from what source. What I'll show you here is uh, what I did was enter the model information into a Google search. And what it did was uh, pull up the download center at Samsung. What you'll do is you'll go down, save it save it somewhere you're going to know I'm going to put on the desktop click save there I'm going to close this box out here as you see right there it goes so we're going to upload files from the desktop and we're going to roll down and find that manual there it is there click there click open and it's going to upload that as well um, into your laundry room into the documents so at any time all you'll ever need to do is to log on to Milo's if you have any issue ever need to contact the manufacturer log in go into the specific room you have the products in open the document which I'll show you it's really simple here but a really cool way of keeping track of paper um, without really necessarily having to do so sorry let me close this out here and there she is. So that's what we just done. And now, in order to view this, you go over here to download. And there it is. So, really simple way to keep track of your information that way. The other thing under the show box, let's look here. I'm going to skip over calculations for a minute. And due to the fact we're going to get into dimensions here, which is really, really important and really cool and a big function, I think, that our customers aren't really getting yet. If we go back up here to the home profile, click here. I'm going to go back on to that deck that we've created so I'll click here on the deck one. Now let's go to that show box we we're talking about. We'll go back down to dimensions. As you see here there's going to give you a brief couple uh, choices here of shapes that rooms can already pre be predetermined in. Let's just say for, for a real quick way we're going to say rectangle but you can absolutely make a room custom as you like if you just click custom there and it will walk you through it step by step but let's just say for time rectangle you can rotate the shape of the size of the room oh, this is going to help but you can flip okay once you like it you'll hit continue now it's going to ask you specifics okay so what you'll do here is you'll enter the width of the wall let's just call it a 10 foot Okay, you can name the wall, whatever you like to name it as well too. You can go over here, add doors, add windows, add openings for breezeways. Um, let's see, you can just click there, place windows. It will ask you what, what the width, the height of the window is. Um, and if you go down here, it's not going to work because I have not calculated everything. But once you enter all parameters for each width, and height of each wall and where the doors and windows are at it's going to give you an accurate breakdown of the square footage for linear foot coverage of walls also as well as square footage for floor coverings and I'll show you that so now we'll go back um, to the home profile let's go back to that laundry room where we just came from we go back down to dimensions I'll be able to explain that to you now so if we did properly enter all the dimensions like we just did in that deck there this is what would come up next and what it will do is it will quickly calculate there's my wall square foot coverage if I need to go in and get paint and there's the area square foot uh, of the floor if I need to get floor coverings tile vinyl whatnot it's real quick there um, let's go back to one more let's go back to calculations because now what this is if we hit product calculators what you'll be able to do is 
all these options to that room uh, you can figure out for blown insulation carpet everything you see here if it's relevant to that space you can click here and it's going to be able to tell you exactly how much product you would need to complete a project so these are really really cool things I need you to get in here and really play around uh, with the home profile feature because a lot of people um, don't really quite know about it yet and this is a big driver of my lows it's really really cool to have everything so organized and so close before I get out of here let me just show you one thing because now I really don't need this deck any longer in here so let's uh, click on deck and this is the way you delete a room from your home profile so once you're in the in-depth for that specific space you'll go down here delete deck one yes I want to do that delete it it's gone and now everything is back to how it was uh, and it's accurate for my particular uh, home